Hello everybody. Uh, I was originally going to do another video uh, technically yesterday. It's only like 1 a.m. or so. Oh no, it's 2 a.m. <laughs> it's only 2 a.m. Uh, Wednesday? Is it Wednesday? I don't even know what day it is anymore. <laughs> but uh, I was going to do another video, uh, but I lost track of time. Uh, he wants to talk to me. She has a quest, though. Oh, bestie! I was just looking for you. You have a now hot dog arm. Snacksburg is finally <laughs> interesting again. I'm in the mood for some snacking and snooping. But, like, everybody here gets all quiet when I'm around. But they trust you, right, bestie? So here's what I'm thinking. You dig up dirt on Wiggle and share it with me. And maybe I'll tell you something good in return. Find out what Wiggle does at midnight. Oh! Did she already do it or is she doing it right now? little creature what are you doing here uh well i'm just looking to spend some time with gramble alone but if you're not busy darling i could use a helping paw it seems like your run-of-the-mill bug snacks aren't getting my creative juices flowing i need something oh spectacular I overheard Wambus talking about a sando pea, a snack made of many pieces working in harmony. That may be just what I need. Okay. I need two sub sando peas, which are back at uh, Flavor Falls. She's sleeping. Uh, okay. He's sleeping. Everybody asleep. Wake up! Oh, not again! I should tie myself down. All right. Ranch. Bum, bum, bum. All right. Got to go to Flavor Falls. What is this thing? I saw you. can't hide from me. What the hell? Where are you? Floofty fizzle bean. I'm, I'm only missing uh, one extra thing, even though I have two inventory slots. Interesting. Okay. Gimme. Flu 
Flavor Falls. I assume there's probably a quest related to getting all of the uh, the white variants or the albino variants. I'm curious. Do they just knock it out of the way or will they try to go over it? Oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah, that that could work. If I just get the tail end of this sub and then launch it into that trap. Damn. That still doesn't work. Shit. Okay. Well then hang on. Here's during the day. It won't slow down until it's broken up. So do I have to break all of it up? Is that it? Just break everything up? Flee. Alright. Oh, that's adorable. Although I could easily take it. Like, I don't know why it's not letting me. So I need to catch the front of the train in order to get anything. How do I get you guys? Oh, just make a flying trap. Easy. How did it work last time? Damn it. Alright. Fuck. Cool. Lalev. How did this work? Sandal, 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 Sandal,
How did I do this? You bitch! Where did it go? What the fuck? <laughs> How does this work? How do I get you? How did I get it last time? You absolute bitch. Give me you!
He's out of bounds somewhere now. Can I get you to charge him? Perhaps? Come from? How did he get back? Uh. <laughs> I got this stupid sub sandwich. Bunger, bunger, bunger. Do the wiggle. I stumbled into the studio two hours late. I hadn't slept in five days, and I was holding a banjo for some reason. I couldn't remember my own name, much less what I was gonna sing. So in my haze, I just made it up on the spot. Two weeks later, I had a platinum record, and apparently, I'd invented banjo pop. Needless to say, it's been a hard act to follow. <sighs> Interesting. Alright, where is she? Hey, how's the journey? It's been alright. Horrifying, but, you know, it comes with the territory. Thanks for making the sauce. How you doing? Doing all right. Hey there, Bunger. <laughs> this game actually kind of makes me hungry, and that's horrifying. It's 
won't say that. Hey there, Frider. Ah, there she is. I might go to fucking Freddy's when it becomes hey, morning. Hey. Sup? OMG! Sounds like Wiggle has a nasty habit. Uh, I feel bad for Gramble. Those two just aren't gonna last. In my old life, I would have killed to get dirt on Wiggle Wiggle Bottom. Uh, I used to take pictures for GMZ, you know. And whoever else might be buying. Oh, right. I almost forgot about that. It's easy to get caught up in nostalgia. Have you found any snack pods yet? They're the best snack ever because they don't even move. But they're a little hard to find if you aren't observant like me. There might be some hiding by my old cave. And I know a certain Grumpus who might want some. Catch one crispy snack pod. Rumor Mill Part 2. So it's by her cave. Hey! Boom, boom. <laughs> I got a, I found a pretzel snack pod before. I didn't know they were called snack pods, but yeah, cool. In fact, I gave it I gave the snack pod originally to him. I don't know if it's still here, but I don't see it at least. Oh, hi. Oh, no, wait, there it is. How you doing, snack pod? There you go. <laughs> nope. Where is that little troublemaker? Were they making something? Ah, there she is. She's at Philbo's. You have a chip arm. Can't say I miss that cave, but I do miss these. Thanks, bestie. All right. So all that's left is uh, Philbo. Because I can't do Cromdo. Because he wants Bopsicles. And they're probably in that snowy mountain up there, so I can't do that yet. So it's you. Snacksburg is looking pretty busy tonight. Seems like a great time to gather everybody around the old campfire. Yeah, sure. Ah, oh, nothing like a campfire, eh, buddies? Beat sitting in the dark. I tell you, there's some spooky stuff out there. <laughs> there ain't nothing out there, just bug snacks and trees. You're just yellow. I'm not yellow, I'm pink. And there's really something stalking me, watching me from the shadows. Keeps me up at night. I've seen something similar up on top of the canyon. Real curious. Probably just a wild animal. Darling, there are no animals here. None but we, that is. I, uh, I too saw the thing. Can we talk about something else? You know, the desert grumps, they had some odd rituals. They take their old and dying and seal them in secret caves. <gasps> Whatever for? Were the dead going to rise from the grave? No, not as such. It's more the bodies would just disappear. What? How? The writing's kind of vague, sadly. All I know is they had a rash of vanishing corpses. Long as they were exposed, well, heck, even if they buried him in the sand, the body wouldn't be there the next day. Though some of the time, there'd be a little left. Just a few bones. I'm getting a chill just thinking about it. You're getting a chill because the fire's gone out. Oh, you're right. Uh, 
Hey, buddy, would you mind picking up some firewood? It's over by the mill. <laughs> yeah, sure. No problem. Okay, where were we? Um, Triffany, you were saying something about the zombies? No, no zombies. Listen, spooky as the disappearing stiffs may be, that's just a story I read on a wall. We got nothing to fear from the dead. I'm more worried about the living. The living? Obviously, we're not the first grumpuses to make it to Snacktooth. So what makes us think all the others are dead? I've seen those chewed up skeletons around the island. We all know something kills grumpuses out there, and it has teeth. Bug snacks don't have teeth. And like Wiggle said, there aren't animals out here other than us. She's not wrong about the bones. Ah, 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 uh, time out. I gotta use a little grump shrimp. Now hold on. You saying grumpuses turn cannibal? That's ridiculous. We ain't got the stomachs for it. Lufty eats Grumpus. <laughs> no way that's true! Oh, it's true. Late one night, I saw Floofty dragging something along the beach. When I got closer, I saw what it was. A severed leg! And as I watched, they held it up to their mouth. And then, they took a bite out of it. <sighs> Don't mess with my head, Beth! You're gonna scare me snackless! Oh, Grump! Is somebody gonna check on Philbo? <laughs> oh, fucking cowards. Let's go. Went to little Grump's room. Oh, hey, buddy. Uh, sorry, I, uh, I got a little too spooked. And I came here to calm down. Huh? I I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. Are you feeling okay? You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> well, uh, let's keep it together and get back to the fire. <laughs> Sorry about that. What I miss? Can we just quit it with the spooky stuff? I don't think I could get any sleep. Darling, calm yourself. For I know what lurks in the shadows. It's the queen of bug snacks. A bug snack bigger than any we've ever seen. She conducts this delicious orchestra, bringing music to our mouths. And once we're dancing to her tune, she gobbles us up. That's precisely right, darling. This story makes no sense. Why would Bug Snacks have a monarchy? Oh, Wambus, it's just the title. I've seen Bug Snacks big enough to eclipse the moon. What else would you call that? Uh, a hallucination? Oh. Believe what you will, Wambus. For I know what I've seen. Regardless of what sort of monster you believe in, something is out there and it's only a matter of time before it comes for us. Grumpin' Snacks, it's coming for us! I said she's coming for us! Yay! 
Oh, mountain's open. We, we, no need to freak out. It's probably just a uh, something safe. I'm freaking out, Wimbus. I'm not getting eaten by some monster or floofty just because you won't admit you're scared. Don't worry, Gramble. We'll go check it out. If something goes wrong, sacrifice Bilbo first. I won't be a dick. So we'll knock the bridge over. Ooh, they like burp in. Oh. Hi. Chandlo? Whoa, it's Philbo. And somebody new? Hey, how are you? Doing better these days, yeah. Uh, Snacksburg is coming back together. I noticed. I saw the fire and I thought, whoa, Snacksburg's on fire. So I came down here to check on it. Then I remembered I left some stuff at the mill, so here I am. Is Shelda around? Oh, no. Nobody's seen Shelda since the, uh, the, the fight. Major bummer, bro. I could use her wisdom right now. Anyway, can't stay and hang. I gotta get all this stuff back to Snorpy right away. You know how he gets. Don't you at least want to say hi to everybody? Uh, if I do that, they're gonna want me to stay. Catch you later, bros! But, but I do want you to stay! Oh, darn it. Oh, well. Let's get back and tell the others. Don't worry, folks. I'm fine. <laughs> um, oh, and, and the noise was just Chandler. Oh, that's a relief. So that settles it. Things are good and safe and boring. But wait, what if Chandler was the queen of bug snacks? Oh, please. That brute doesn't have the grace required for royalty. Yeah, if anybody's queen around here, it's me. You know, the Desert Grumps had a history of matriarchal leadership. Real fascinating system they had. Every year, the ladies would go hunting, and the one to bring home the biggest bug snack was the new head honcho. Hmm. Huh. These statues must be hundreds of years old. A fully intact skeleton brought in from the desert, cause of death unknown. A disembodied skull makes for a charming paperweight. Grandma always said you can't get ahead with no body to lean on. A collection of Bunsen's, Beakers, and Bezelheims. Floofty uses them for science, probably. Alright. Oh. Doesn't look like anyone's in need of anything. So let's explore the new area. Sugar Pine Woods. Yeah, map wise, it's there. Hello, is that a fucking Oreo? A Kooky? So fast that it evades capture, there must be a way to trip it up. Hanabi, these snacks will stick to just about anything, including traps. This gooey cracker mess is evidence of a bug snack, it only appears at night. A Cine snail. Very slow, very sticky. It likes to stay out of reach. It likes chocolate, though. Ooh, wait, that's a new sauce thing. What is this? 
peanut butter. <laughs> Okay. Oh, popsicle. Big popsicle. Freezes anything that touches it. There must be a way to melt its spicy armor. Only appears at night. Oh, wait. Oh, I can't catch it. I need the s'mores, guys. So I need to come back at night. Well, snail. Oh, hey. Snorpy? Snorpy! Bro, Snorpy, get out here! I'm sorry, Chandlo, I'm not coming outside. I'm this close to finishing my next invention. Return to your lifting in peace. Snorpy, we talked about this, bro. You gotta go outside at least one hour a day. Gotta get some fresh air, dog. Yes, what I'll get is the attention of the Grumpinati. Who? There's nobody out here but us, bro. Better to work in the shadows when I cannot be seen. Also, it's cold out there. Bro, if you're not coming outside, I'm bringing the outside to you! No, what? You cannot lift my entire house! Yes, you can. Oh, yes, I can! <laughs> I'ma lift your crib, dog! Do not lift my crib, Chandlo. I have delicate instruments in here and... Lift in your crib, dog! There, I'm out in the fresh air. And I can smell the chemtrails. <sighs> That's right, bro. One step at a time. You're already part bug snack, it looks like. You ate, like, a cinna snail or something? And a pretzel? Move Something? along, interloper. Whatever sort of spy or counter-agent you are, I'm not about to fall for your tricks. Snorpy has managed to fit every single conspiracy into one paranoid blob. It would be larger, but I ran out of red string. An ingenious introvert inventor, conspiracy theorist. Just about the worst hugger I've ever met, and he keeps losing his tracking device in my hut. Brawny Builder Bro. Surprisingly spiritual. This place is freaky. <laughs> Honeybees. Okay, cool. A muddy projector tape discarded by Lids in the Woods. Oh, it's Video Diary 4. It's all the way out here. Also, I saw that. That was an albino cine snail. No, just a regular cine snail. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Give me that. What's the purpose of that?
No! Alright. <laughs> what? Sprinkle peed? <gasps> it likes to climb high structures. Maybe some sauce could get it moving. Where did the center go? This is where sprinkle peed hole running around. Potentially. I mean, why not? Did I do it? No. Okay. Fine. You can stay down here. S'mores things. So I, I'm trapped until nighttime, it looks like. Must be a way to trip it up. By one of these pads, perhaps? Damn it. I got a cookie. Bun a bum. He's rolling down so fast. Tons of honeybees.
Okay. And then there's you. You like chocolate. Little style. All right. So there ain't much left for me here. I need to wait for those the snores creatures to come out. What do you want? Huh? Darling, are you ready to help me top the charts? No. <laughs> Triffany told me about a bug snack in the desert that only appears during the full moon. A creature in tune with the cosmos. Something that beautiful must also be significant, no? Not necessarily. A white chi poof. I know about that. Fly me to the moon. Hey there, bud. Nothing yet. Think something might be wrong with the soil. Too dry or maybe too wet. Either way, something needs fixing. Why don't you fetch me a big old fibrous bug snack? Like a spuddy. I got a plan. Catch a spuddy. Can do. enraged. Alright. It hates other spuddies? How did I catch one of you before? I didn't think so. Hmm. I need two spuddies together. There we go. Got him. I'll take two. That's a grumbling volcano. Hey there, fella. That's not for me. No, you go and feed that to Philbo. Then, hold up by the outhouse for a spell. When his business is done, <laughs> gather up the fertilizer. You know, uh, night soil, waste, 
Spud cruds. Come on, don't make me get crude now. I know what you want. Nice to see you. Hey. I'm here to force feed you this potato scorpion. Awesome. He has a potato nose. Oh my god. The gift, buddy. Though suddenly I'm feeling nature call. Sorry, gotta go. Yeah. Yeah, don't mind me. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Did he shit in a bag? <laughs> How you doing? I should feed this to you. That stink could raise the dead. Whew. That's bound to be potent enough for my soil. Thanks, stranger. I hate you. Give me your fucking peanut butter. Okay. It is not a full moon tonight, so I'm going to worry about the sugar pine stuff. Is fine by me. Size of your heart has grown, and so has your inventory space. Keep donating to keep growing. Go I, on, I bring you honeybees. Just follow Papa's pointer, or or don't. That's fine too. Off to a bit of a slow start. Oh, it went so easy with Sprout, I just don't know what's going wrong now. Maybe, maybe Sprout can help. I'm sure he can show Charlie the ropes. What do you say? Sounds good. I got time right. until night. Now just use Sprout to lead Charlie back to my barn. You like chocolate, right? Yeah. What the fuck did you just do? You little demon. ways off from teaching them to spell out we love you papa why well, i have to cover myself in sauce every morning just to get them to pay attention to me but that's just the way it goes you pour every little bit of love you got into somebody and you just hope they notice Hey there, honeybee. Ah, uh, the fact that they say their names. <laughs>
Okay. Is it technically night? Uh, 8 p.m. is night. So I still have to wait. I want to give myself as much time as possible. <sighs> Another fine day behind us. Hey! Aloha! Nice night out. Banana. Sugar pine wood. Is there anything up up here at like sunset? <gasps> Wait, they're here. A charm mallow. The snack is literally on fire. Some water. I should put it out. Cover in chocolate or peanut butter. How did it get burned? How did it get burned? Wow! That's weird. Move along, interloper. Whatever sort of spy. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, it's you again. How's that sweet mountain air treating you, bro? It's easy to stay swole in paradise. Easy for me, anyway. I'm Chandlo Funk Bun. With wisdom and lifting, <laughs> I got the full package. You feel me? Nah, I'm good. I mean, I like being in town, but it gives Snorpy mad anxiety. Why don't you talk to him? He's not good with strangers, so tell him I sent you. <laughs> okay. Oh, he did, did he? My poor sweet Chandler has always been too trusting. What is your business with me? Hmm. I'm not disinterested, but you're still a suspicious individual. I propose a test. Here, take my newest invention, the Snack Grappler. I built it so that I could help Chandler with his basketballing problem. But I forgot that meant going outside, so you do it, and then maybe we'll talk. Is that all you really wanted from me? Just to test it out? Nice, dog. I knew he'd warm up to you. All right, follow me. Oh. I kind of already did it. Holy shit! Check it out. My own personal dunk zone. Problem is, I lost my balls. 
They're stuck all over the place. I'm sure I could get them down without your help, but... Snorpy made that grapple thing for me, and I want to see it in action. thing is awesome I bet it can grab all kinds of stuff Snorpy's a genius bro check it out there's a cinna snail right over there I know it looks like a sticky dump truck full of cars but it's actually a master climber even I can't keep up with it I always wanted to climb like that hey see if you can catch me that cinna snail bro Out of here, race you back to the cabin. Nice, you made it. You got back pretty fast for a newbie. Me, I got the same time I always get. I guess one bug snack isn't enough to push my limits. There's gotta be more cine snails around this mountain, dog. There are. Oh goodness. Okay. Grab it. Damn it. to check my gains but before that I got a situation honeybees flew off with my backup balls now my balls are up in the sky no matter how shredded I get I can't fly believe me I've tried you gotta be my wings dog master that grabber catch me those honeybees catch two honeybees Woo. They're not out. They don't come out at night, I assume.
<laughs> Wait, a white chi poof? A rare chi poof that exclusively comes out at night, aka the cooler chi poof. You told me it only comes out during a full moon. Alright, fine. Let me catch this real quick. Wait, there's multiple white chi poofs. This one is way easier to get. Deal's a deal, friend. The bridge is yours. Some assembly required. Oh, and so you know, Crumdomart is not responsible for any loss or injury suffered as a result of the use of its products. Hey, if you need anything else, anything at all, please, please, please call your friend Crumdom. Oh, I'm already sweating. It's too hot. Too hot. Oh, I don't... All right. Still can't get over there. The sizzling sands. So much for that full moon Hello, garbage. Darling. Here. Eat your gum, chi poof. Here it comes. The ballad of a generation. Bug snacks. Bug snacks on the island in my mouth. So tasty. Well, that's all I have so far. It's a work in progress, but. What do you think? Ugh. I knew it was a hot mess. Thank you for your honesty. I don't know why I bother. I know I don't have any real talent. My whole career was an accident. <sighs> Sorry, darling. I need to be alone for a while. <laughs> The new Cromdomart. <laughs> to what do I owe the honor? Oh, I'm just curious what you think you're doing here. What am I doing? I'm working the counter. Cromdomart's back in business, baby. Don't act all innocent. If you start running scams again, I'll know. Yeah, yeah, because you know everything. And here's what I know. You're not better than me, Beth. Nobody likes all your snooping around. I don't care what they think about me, as long as I make sure you get what you deserve. Don't I always? Are you gonna buy something or what? Yeah, I'll take a tall snack water extra fizz. Coming right up. Hey there, bestie. We've got a new target. Cromdo's back in town. I yep. know that greedy crumb bag has some juicy dirt. I'm not talking about his pathetic little lies or scams either. I'm sure you'll find something good. Don't let me down, bestie. <laughs> find out what Cromdo does at midnight. All right, I could use some practice. They'll be interviewing me every day when I'm a gazillionaire. <laughs> Business King, Sales Savant, future CEO of Starbucks, the one, the only, Crondo Face! 
ever smelled a future kid? Huh? I can tell you, Lisbeth stank of opportunity. She came on TV talking big about this new superfood, and I wanted in. So I quit my dead-end job and followed that stench of possibility. I used to go door to door selling gruel to grandmas. Paid on commission, for grump's sake. What do I think of? Delicious, irresistible, marketable. They're gonna catapult me straight to the top of money down, baby. Yeah, I tried to make use of what Lisbeth didn't need anymore, and Bethica didn't like that. Yeah, she went and told everyone that I'm a thief. I was salvaging! That's a community service, pal! But Bethika planted evidence in my hut, said I stole her diary, so I did what any honest grump would do. I ran. Ooh, don't get me started. Everyone here thinks she's so great, such a fantastic leader. But I know the truth. She came here to stroke her ego and get Egabel her fix. The rest of us were just pfft, Disposable. That's Elizabeth Megafic. When push came to shove, she abandoned us. I, I gotta confess, I was thinking about sailing home after things got hairy. But when I went looking for our boat, it was gone. There's only two grumps missing. You do the math. Uh, I bet Liz and Egg are living large in New Grump City by now. Yeah, 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 I get it, pal. I'm not the nicest grumpus around. I learned early on that life is like a box of trash. You always know what you're gonna get. Trash. Just go check out where the boat was. See what you think of Lisburn after that. Chrono gave you a map to the boat. Oh yeah, that's where I found the, um, this, this video diary. At the end of the boiling bay, past the shipwreck, Liz was definitely over there, you'll see. Alright. Yard... Sard? Number one, he's a dad? What are you looking at? Hey, pal, I got a business opportunity for you. I got a tip that Triffany found some sort of treasure map while she was digging around. They say it'll lead to a huge bug snack. Imagine what a snack that size is worth. I was thinking of taking that map off her paws. That's where you come in. Get me a bug snack so delicious that Triffany would die for it, and we'll trade. Then we'll split the profits 50-50. I clearly said 50. Dear Linodio, catch a buffalo cust. I have no idea what a buffalo cust is. Okay. What do I have quest-wise? Deal or no deal. Triffany makes history. Oh, Triffany would like to talk to me about something. Where is Triffany? No, seriously, where is that green weirdo?
She might have gone back to the ruins, actually. Oh, Beth, what's hey, hey. up? Like that, that makes sense, actually, if she were to go back to the ruins. Ba -na -na. I do not see her. She'll come back to town eventually. Okay, let her fly, and I'll show you my incredible aim. Just try not to hit Bilbo again. When you're finished with your amusements, come see me. We have work to do. Get out of here, Lufty. You're ruining my shot. What's wrong? not so bad. They're just passionate about science. Sure. Science. I heard about their experiments, messing with your body. It's weird. What's weird about it? I mean, look at you. How many bug snacks have you had? Hey, in my professional medical opinion, I am perfectly healthy. We're all eating bug snacks, and we're all fine, so why are you getting on my case? I'm just worried. You're not acting like yourself. You mean I'm not miserable. I found a way to make myself useful and happy to finally take some control over my life. And you're just upset because it doesn't involve you. I'm not upset. You don't need me anymore. That's great. Go be with Blue Maybe I will. Hmm. Ah! Doing good? Oh, not too bad. Actually, would you mind helping me out here? I dug up this journal out in the canyon. It's, um, a record of historical landmarks and bug snacks. I want to follow in the writer's footsteps. So, uh, if it's not too much trouble, would you want to go exploring with me? Sure, that sounds fun. Oh, you're too kind. The first place of note is in Flavor Falls. Meet me there whenever's good for you. Sure, no problem. Oh, are we going now? <laughs> I was going to do the honeybee thing real quick, but all right. Alrighty. What we're looking for is a big stone grumpus face and a bug snack called a pinkle. Let's look around. Scan a stone grumpus and report to Tiffany. Feed Tiffany a pickle. Or a pinkle. Pinkle is that thing. It loves ranch. Oh, grapple. Ha <laughs> ha. Ate the whole jar, too. She's got a pickle leg. That's weird. Oh, wow, that's a good one. Oh my you God, it's pickle tip. I hate myself. Scattered around here. These must have been an important food source to the ancient grumps. Bye bye now. All right. Oh. An inchworm. It can't dig through solid objects. Ha 
How do I get it out, though? Oh, it loves ranch? Stone Grumpus face, evidence of ancient Grumpus activity. Did they live here in this cave? That there would be the work of the ancient Stone Grumps. A civilization from over 5,000 years ago. Huh. All that's left of them is statuary and some puzzling mechanisms. Unlike the desert grumps, these folks didn't preserve their dead. In fact, the writer thinks they would sacrifice them to the bug snacks, like an offering to the gods and whatnot. This means bug snacks may be a more lasting legacy than any of the stuff they built. Well, I was hoping to find a camp of some sort, maybe a corpse or two. But oh well, there's plenty more spots to check out. Let's head back to Snacksburg for now. Alright. I've never caught a sweetie fly, actually. Fuck. No idea how to get that one. But there's one over here. Maybe I'm supposed to launch a trap at them. Damn it! I was right there. There we go. trying so hard to get the sweetie fly. It's been there forever. Alright. 
Yeah, I need honeybees. Na na na. And two of them. <laughs> it's horrifying. There you go, honeybees. Without me, I can't get Snorpy to leave though. Whatever's keeping him here, he doesn't want to talk to me about it. Says it's a secret project, but I got a feeling he'll talk to you. Okay, get Snorpy to come home. Ah, yes, I wish I could tell Chandler everything, but knowing the truth would only put him in more danger. Anyway, you have my thanks for helping him. Perhaps I can trust you after all. I am Snorpington Fizzlebean, engineer and seeker of truths. Here, new chum, lean in close so that I may bestow a hug on you. Ah. Ah, what an excellent hugging experience that was. We shall have to do that many more times. Now, I need your help. Are you willing to risk your life for the greater good? Splendid! There is another device you will need. I've hidden it inside the bug watch tower. Once okay. you have it, I will tell you more. Alright, that's easy. Hello? I know what you're talking Hello? about. Hello? Can you hear me? Ah, that's right. I've planted a radio tracking device on you during our mutual hugging. Now we can communicate securely. Beware, the Grumpinati are always listening. Ugh. One of those flying bug snacks has set off the tower's alarm system again. No. To worry, with my trip shot device, you can disrupt the snack's movement. I'm on fire! Help! Okay. <laughs> ah, chum, I have such a craving for cookies. Why, my craving is so terrible that I would like my teeth to be cookies, so that I may taste my own teeth, you see. Turn Snorpy's teeth oh, to cookies. Do be aware that the trip shot cannot attach to snow, sand, or dirt. A minor design bar. My teeth are cookies. The resulting counter signal will make my location untraceable. Sure. Ooh. Splendid. I no longer have to worry about psychotronic torture or cavities. 
But now I hunger for charm mallows. Can't ever have enough charm mallows. <laughs> I have to wait for night in order to do that. Tiffany, hello. Nice to see ya. Wait till 5 p.m. That should be enough. Hi. Sugar Pine Woods. Da -na -na. spot in place, I can safely return to Snacksburg. Meet me outside. Hmm. This guy seems cleared of danger. I suppose it's now or never. Oh. Snorpy's ready to go? All right, dog. Let's do this. Just a moment, Chandler. You've been an invaluable ally. I'm even tempted to call you a friend, but quietly so I'm not overheard. Bro, if I didn't think it'd crush you like a tin can... I would hug the grump out of you. Oh, what the grump? Here it comes! What expert hugging that is. You do that hug. All right, let's get out of here. Race you back to town, Snorp Dog. Oh, please don't make me run with you, Chandlo. How go weak in the knees? If you're not up for it, I could always carry you. No, oh, no, that's quite all right. Your loss. See you back in Wait. town, bro. Chandlo. All right. A lot of completes. Okay. me dog I'll crush your questions all right Chandlo funk bun I lift it's a way of life bro anything that needs to go up logs buildings balls snorpy I'll get him there if I want to push my limits I gotta go somewhere extreme. I heard nobody comes back from this island. Sounds like a challenge to me. Hey, I'm always looking out for Snorpy. I know roughing it isn't his style, but there's no way I was coming here without him. I don't know what you mean, dog. We're like the sky and the sea. Been together since the dawn of time. Bug snacks are strong. Like a primal kind of strong. Like they own this place. And I gotta respect that. Bro, Snacksburg was a disaster without Lisbert. I couldn't stop all the fighting with lifting or wisdom. I gotta keep things chill for Snorpy. He's got a lot of that social anxiety. 
Mrs. Bird is top dog, you feel me? She really inspires me to test my limits. But, uh, that's about it. I'm really tighter with Egabelle. Egabelle's a sweetie. She was always looking out for me. Showed me how to stay safe while still pushing my limits. But she was always pushing herself way harder. Yeah, she asked me to train her. Surprised the grump out of me, because she really wasn't built for that kind of stuff. We'd go running every morning and lifting after lunch. Though she would get real down on herself sometimes. But she never gave up, and I respect that. I wish I could tell you. Those two were strong together. I can't think of anything that could take them down. They gotta be okay out there. Somewhere. Really slam dunked my questions. Oh, that's not just don't. Anyway, I recorded Egabelle's progress while we were working out. She shared some pretty private stuff. But maybe it'll help you bring her back to us. Don't let me down, bro. Oh, Egabelle's chest. Oh, I can finally open that. Alright, but where Where's the weirdo? Here's to a hard day's work. Is he in the mill house? Ah, he is. Well, hello there. Are you mad? I can't have my secrets plastered all over the front page news. Of course I do. But at the same time, I don't want them finding me. Hmm. I suppose I can reveal a tad bit, so long as my identity is protected. Alright. <clears throat> I am Snorp Redacted. Mean. And I have devoted my life to inventing devices that foil the machinations of the Grumpinati. Well, I was dragged here by my dearest friend, Chan- Redacted. He thought I needed some fresh air. <laughs> Much as I hate the outdoors, I simply can't say no to him. But, well, I, well, I, I, I mean, we've been together since kindergarten. It would make perfect sense if we were together together. He's never said we are, has he? I surmise they are some sort of synthetic life form designed to beguile our taste buds. I'm so glad you asked. I believe there may be a factory located on this very island, hidden somewhere deep underground. I have charts. Let me show you my charts later. I was too exposed. Flufty tried to wrap me up in their experiments, now that Lizbert and Agabel weren't around to occupy them. I could see that this was the next step in the Grumpinotti's plot against me. Lisbeth disappears, we are hit with an earthquake, we suffer a snack shortage, all that in one day. Do you really think those are all coincidences? The timeline is on my charts. Elizabeth Megafig was a curious sort, and had a foolish bone in her body. She could rival me in wits, and chat redacted, blow an arm wrestling. We would share secrets now and again. Dreadful, terrible secrets. <laughs> I'm not telling you the terrible secrets because they are terrible and secret. Excellent interrogation, chum. So great that you deserve another hugging experience. Ah. <laughs> this must not go on the record. Elizabeth Megafink discovered something on the island and came to me for help. An entrance to the underground, locked behind a strange device. I assisted her in unraveling its secrets, and soon after, she vanished. You must take extreme caution. I can tell you where to find it, but the rest is up to you. Stormy gave you a bat to a mysterious door. All right, two very crucial hints. The mystery map. Near the mountain peak, hang left from the trail and take a narrow ledge north. See attached map. I think the ancient grumpuses needed to be fed first, but what do they like to eat? The pressure point won't activate. Interesting. Alright. So we need to get on the mountain peak. 
which might be that little section between Sugar Pine Woods, Garden Grove, and Flavor Falls, that little um, top right section. Forgot how directions worked for a moment. Uh, okay. Another fine day behind us. Ooh, number three. Vice can play all Lizbert's video diaries. Locked her secrets away. Okay. Find out where Cromdo does at midnight. trying to get off the island? Explode. I'm not stopping, dog. I almost got it. He's stretching the tree. I could just make a digging device. Uh, that's not the point, bro. I can do this. If you insist, I'll go ready some ice packs. Yeah, dog. 
I'm trying to pull up this stump so I can build a b-ball court. I'm about as swole as a grumpus can get, and I can't move this thing at all. It's a fucking tree trunk. I'm stronger than a grumpus. I gotta push my limits, you feel me? Uh, Word. I need your help to bulk up. If you go find the biggest, buffest bug snacks around, and I eat them, maybe I'll gain their strength. Catch aggressive, meaty bug snacks. So that would be... Can I just give him a bunch of bungers? What if I just get him a bunch of bungers? Nice. Cob hopper hops from tree to tree, won't stop until it's tripped out of the air.
Not one hundred percent on that one. Oh, hi there. Where are you, buff boy? There you are. like or you know almost there's no gaining without training dog i got a new exercise in mind if you're ready to spot me let's do it i set up these hanging weights all around town i'm gonna jog around you use your grappler to knock them down on top of me maybe for you and snorpy but this is what i gotta do to challenge myself now get me to five weights Let's do this, bro! Hey, Wiggle. Hello! More weight! Keep them coming! Ooh! That's heavy, but keep them coming. More weight. I feel swole, dog. Now let's see what you got, Stump. Oh, Grump. I think my bicep exploded. But that's okay. I just gotta rest up and keep training. With this bug snack body, I'll get there. Cause if I don't, who's gonna have Snorpy's back? Sprout! Huh? Oh, just a bad dream. Bye! I can feed him in his sleep? Oh god, that's horrifying. I can force feed him. Oh yeah, that's right. of Wiggle. Why would he even hide that? It almost makes him kind of likable. All right. The only side quest I can't do is still deal or no deal, which is a buffalo cust. Okay. 
doing a great job, buddy. But hey, don't forget to take care of yourself. In fact, maybe you should turn in early today and just relax. Good idea. Uh, something's wrong, buddy. We better take a look. Africa, Gramble, what happened? Oh, we saw something real spooky walk right into town. I thought it was a grumpus at first, but like something about it was wrong. Was this creature wearing a crown by any chance? Or was it perhaps holding some sort of ceremonial dagger? What? No, no, nothing like that. It looked kind of normal until it... <laughs> until it... It turned into a bunch of bug snacks and like scattered. Frankly, I find that hard to swallow. Ah, what a load, Biff. Not enough drama around town for you lately, huh? Zonk off, Cromdo. Unlike you, I don't lie for a living. Oh, wow. So tell me then, what were you doing skulking around at midnight? Breaking into huts? Again? I seen it too. And this time I know it's not just one of my nightmares. Get some grump and sleep, Gramble. I can't! Not with all of y'all around here with your hungry mouths. Don't take this the wrong way, darling, but you are a bit high strung. A little beauty sleep would do you wonders. Maybe then you'd finally let us eat a few pets! You say that again! Get up! Stop. Whoa! Hey, chill the grump out, bros. There's no need for all that. If what Bramble and Befica are saying is true, there's gotta be some physical evidence left behind, yeah? Indeed. We should sweep the perimeter and keep watch in case the creature returns. Um, uh, good idea. Uh, buddy, do you think you can scope out the restroom? You know, find out what they saw? <laughs> the words no more bug saps are carved crudely into the campsite. Messy paws like prints lead from edge of Snacksburg to the garden. A rusty spade discarded near the sign smells like snacks. This lock has been busted open. Something got into the ranch. Oh, did he steal all the bug snacks? Messy paw like prints lead from the garden to the outhouse. Bug snack tracks scatter from here. Where the Grumpus tracks stop. Hmm. You found what you were looking for? All right, I'll call everybody together. Okay. Well, w w what did you find? Well, that's. Um... I reckon there's got to be some other explanation. Cram it, Wampo. We got a genuine monster in our paws. Hmm. Monster's a bit of a prejudicial term, don't you think? I'd call it more of a cryptid or undiscovered animal. It's no animal, darling. We're witnessing the queen of bug snacks in action. She's given us a warning! Oh, that is absurd. Which is more likely that a so far unseen giant bug snack politely left a note on our door? Or that this is some form of coordinated gaslighting by the Grumpenar- What's more likely, dear, is that you've watched far too many movies. Well, at least my theory has scientific data behind it, whereas you haven't even drawn one chart. I was top of the charts, thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know what? Let's split the difference, eh? You're both wrong. Uh, what does it even matter? Whatever it is, it wants us dead. Between this and the earthquakes, Snacksburg's becoming pretty unlivable. I hate to say it, bro, but I regret coming down from the mountain. Me and Snorpy were a lot safer before we came back. Same goes for me and my little ones. No, no, we shouldn't split up again. We're better off if we're all here together. That might have been true when Lisbert was around, but those days are long gone. You don't know that. She might come back. <laughs> don't hold your breath, pal. Face it, Philbo. Without Lisbert, all we have is you! That's... that's... not true. Listen, I don't know why Lisbert put me in charge, but 
I do know this. None of you were really happy out there alone. We don't have Lisberg, but we have each other. Maybe if we try, we could all add up to one of her. I guess you're not wrong. So we're all staying in town then? Seems like it. As long as we can watch each other's backs. If we're gonna make it, we need everybody here. Floofty and Sheldar are still out there, and, and who knows if they're safe. If you must find Floofty, according to the tracking device I placed on them, they're out by Boiling Bay. And the last time oh. I saw Shelda, she was meditating in the sizzling sands. But don't forget about Egabel. If she's not with Lisbert, we gotta find her. We will, Chandlo. And once we do, we'll throw a big welcome back party. How does that sound? Okay. Great! Now, let's go get some sleep. Okay. Hey, I know you've been spying on me, Pam. You keep out of my business, or I'll... Or you'll what? You're the one keeping secrets. You can't touch this. Nya, 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 nya. You think I'm the only one who's sick of your gossip girl stick, huh? Sooner or later, you're gonna be back in your cave all by yourself. Whatever. At least then, I wouldn't have to hear your slimy voice. It's fine. Cromdo didn't say anything I don't already know. It's been a rough day. Why don't we uh, unwind with some snack pods? <laughs> The Big Snoop, part two. Find three grumpy snack pods on the beach. I'm gonna feed you. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah, combo meal. <laughs> Got a trophy. You look fucking weird. <laughs> What's going on, dog? Yeah, bro. I'm not getting any stronger. I wasn't pushing hard enough. Maybe it's the bug snacks. We went way too small, you feel me? I've been hearing rumors about this monster snack out in the forest. Wamba said it was so huge, no Grumpus alive could lift it. Sounds like the ultimate workout. Let's catch it, bro! Aw, uh, yeah! Meet me in Flavor Falls! <laughs> Throw down. What have I gotten myself into? This way, dog! Just thinking about that buff snack is getting me pumped! Scorpion Catch one Mama Miwan. I feel that. But I love him for it. He just doesn't get it. Doing this for him, the world will crush you if you let it. I gotta be strong enough to keep him safe from all that. Oh, well, we're finally going in. Kidding, that snack is huge! All right, you big bug! Here comes the Chandlo Slam! This massive snack protects its offsprings at all costs. Try to get the drop on it. That's one mean green mama. We Milan. Offsprings of the mama. They're a nuisance, but pretty easy to catch. Certainly drop if grappled. Oh, my God. 
Okay, I get it. I needed to look this way. Oh, shit! on a rampage I got an idea I'll distract the mama you get the drop on her okay hey over here I got your baby ball mama me one thanks bro that bug could have killed me it was way strong, dog. And once I eat it, I'll be just as strong. Yeah. I was hoping I'd get twice as big or something. But no, I'm just the same Chanlo. And Chanlo isn't good enough. I spent my whole life climbing a mountain. And once I got to the peak, all I saw was a taller mountain. Bro, even if I could rip out that stone, I couldn't stop an earthquake. There's always going to be something bigger than me. Stronger than me. Snorpy's always going to be in danger.
Who? Wow. It's just a bunch of people getting depressed when eating bug snacks didn't save them. Alright, we're going to Boiling Beach first. I haven't yet braved the mountain peak. Find Floofty. Floofty's in Boiling Bay, most likely. Ah, I'm just saying, uh, maybe. Your whole premise is flawed from the get go. If bug snacks aren't like plants, then no amount of elbow grease is gonna make this work. Triffy, I thought you were here to support me. Oh, I am. It, it's just, um,. You keep trying this over and over, and one of these days, you gotta pack it in. <sighs> so I'm on my own. Well, if that's how you choose to look at it. What does it look like? <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm just about at the end of my rope. I'm done taking it slow. Just give me every sort of bug snack that digs underground. I reckon it might aerate the soil or something. Oh, I must look mighty foolish sticking to my guns like this. But you don't give up just because things get tough. If nobody else believes in me, I gotta believe in myself. It's that or... or nothing. <laughs> I present to you these adorable little critters. <laughs> hey, Wambus. Wee-melon. Wee-melon. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> A grumpy snack pod. Snack pod. <laughs> Is that sweetie fly different from the rest of the other ones? It's a lovely sweetie fly, so yes, yes it is. Be on the beach.
Pile of sugar and six evidence during the day, but not when it's raining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Help! Bay. Well, soda, this bug skims around the ocean floor and sprays water at nearby sauce. Oh, this tastes like water, but bad. Burn it arm. Red banana banopper jumps from tree to tree. The trip shot should be useful here. Also, it's red. The crimson color made, may be caused by excess carotenoids or grumpus blood. Ah oh, yes, staying positive as always. A green grapple! First to stay underwater but will surface to pick up something that catches its eye. What the fuck? Okay, fine. A Sherby. It drills underneath the stand, underneath the sand, waiting to unleash frosty vengeance on its foes. The love bug. It loves chocolate. Oh. You picked up Liz's note on the secret code. Okay, so need to weigh down the pressure plates in order. First left, then right, then center. And with that push down hard on all three, that should get a response. Okay. A pale toss grande. Freezes anything and charges that. Might be useful against all these spicy bug snacks. You took your precious time getting here. Any longer, and my leg might have rotted away. Come, let's finish our work. My experiment cost an arm and a leg, and nobody else was offering. <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm on the verge of a breakthrough. Now assist me or be gone with you. Ah, always a question worth asking. Preparations for my grand experiment are nearly complete. Soon we will see if we can amend my ambulation. But for now, simply transform my arm into a red banapa. Fuck, I need to figure out how to get the banapers. Fruity goop. Appears at night, but not when it's raining.
So if it hops from this tree to that tree, I should get it. Does it ever do it, though? <laughs> Oh, it's a golden Queeble. Oh, wait, that didn't work? There we go. A red banana banopper. Yum, yum, yum. Just his, just her hand. All right. Excellent. That is one more thing I must do. Hand me the snack activator. The old snack activator was worthless scrap. I have updated it. It is now capable of altering snack matter through a process of sonic anamnesis. Ugh. My body remembers what I eat. The snack activator can change snackified limbs into anything I've ever eaten. Use it. Change my arm from Bonapper to Strabby. Are you amazed? You've seen nothing yet. If my hypothesis is correct, the bug snacks can remember the shape of my body. It is time to test that hypothesis. Use the snack activator on my missing leg. Aha! My leg is back. Bug snacks can cure the sick, revitalize the frail. This discovery will reshape the world. To think Elizabeth and Agabel walked away from that. <laughs> Pathetic. <clears throat> but I refuse to dwell on personal matters while there is yet more work to do. Use the snack activator again. Transform my limbs into cocomites. Okay, so I need to find cocomites first. Cocomite husk. It'll take a powerful voice to crack this shell open. Might be as thick as your skull. Works with its lesser to tackle any threats. It loves chocolate. Nice! Comprehend what has happened? This means that all bug snacks are one and the same. Each one could change into any other with the right stimulus. And now that is true of me. Now, use the snack activator to its full potential. I want limbs of Noodler, Cocomite, Banaba, and Strabby all at once. 
I need to find Noodler. So where the hell is Noodler? That's Sherby. A grapple. A hiding tree, so that doesn't matter. Oh! There's an entire cave over here. A flaming chee poof! A noodler. Bays in pools of lava. Can't be put out while well in such a hot climate. How do I cool you off? Hmm. Unsure how to cool it off. Oh! Playtoss Grande. Yum, yum, yum. Unbelievable. I have learned much. Despite your general ignorance, you have been of use to me. Good job. No matter how many bug snacks I become, my body feels no different. Is there a threshold of crumpusness? 
When every cell of my body is bug snacks, will I remain floofy fizzle bean? Or will I simply be bug snacks right down to the taste? I must find out. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. The answers won't come to me without further testing. However, I have exhausted my research here. I will experiment on Snacksburg. <laughs> I look forward to working with you further. Okie doke. Ah! You fucked, bitch. Damn it. No! Fuck you. There we go. Hey, I'm halfway there. All right. trouble with your pets there? Shut it, Wambus. My little ones are just excited to see me. That's so. Bet it's easy to keep them in line when they're half your size. What are you saying? You really love bug snacks so bad? Go big or go home. You! Oh, go on back to your cactus, you old coot! I hate to say it, but... Wambus has a point. Bigger snacks means more to love. And they might be a bit... smarter. Might respond better to my training, too. Please get me the biggest, snackiest bug snacks you can find. Please? Donate a praying picantus and a scoopy banoopy. Oh, God, it's awful. I am not here to spew gossip for that obnoxious rag you call a newspaper. Very well. If you insist, I will educate you. I 
I am Flufty Frizzlebean, the world's first gastroentomologist. In baby language, I study bug snacks and their effect on grumpuses. To study bug snacks, obviously. <sighs> when Elizabeth Megafig was recruiting for her cult of personality, I observed something strange about her arm. She was keeping it hidden, but she displayed early stages of snackification. That piqued my interest. You are asking for opinions instead of facts. I'm not going to discuss my feelings with you, you emotional parasite. Every time I try to publish my groundbreaking research, you journalists instead churn out slander about my dangerous methods or my questionable behavior. Stop editorializing and focus on the science. I simply wanted to continue my work, Egabel or no, but Shelda blamed me for the disappearances. I'm no stranger to witch hunts. I vacated before the pitchforks could come out. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I've only eaten one grumpus. Would you prefer I keep my severed leg in the outhouse? <clears throat> the truth. <laughs> Elizabeth was an arrogant coward, unlike Egabel. Egabel truly understood my research. She was hungry to participate in it. Our work together was fruitful, even pleasant, until somebody interfered. Shelda, that mummified fraud, stoked Elizabeth's fear of my work, weaponizing her relationship to Egabel, scrambling her fragile emotions, and fabricating a binary choice between myself and Elizabeth. Ultimately, Egabel chose sentiment over science, and I surmise that was the death of her. Yes. I have the password to Agabel's personal storage box. It may be of interest to you. You've wasted enough of my time now. Leave. Mysterious key. I do not have a mysterious box, though. Says your heart has grown, so is your inventory. It can't get any bigger, but donating is still a nice thing to do. A in the art of the gramble. Oh, damn it. No, I needed that snack one. Damn it. I needed the snack pod one. Oh, well. Ah, you're here. I have need of your assistance again. Since my last discovery, I've been testing the limits of bug snack regeneration. Unfortunately, I've done all I can with this one leg. I want to try something rather more advanced. Put simply, I'm going to remove my head. Pardon me, I forgot your limitations. Remove as in cut off, head as in the thinky part. And I am reasonably certain that bug snacks will regrow it in its entirety. Indeed, perhaps I could do something more measured if I had a full team funding and a great deal more subjects. But as usual, nobody's volunteering. Oh, mighty well. You're welcome to try. Sprout! Huh? Oh, just a bad dream. No, no, no thanks. That floofty shows up in my nightmares. Always watching me. I need to wait till daytime for most of them. Uh, do I have any side quests?
Hey, bro. Just got done fixing up the old bridge. Would have done it sooner, but Cromdo wanted me to pay him for the rights of repair. Whatever that means. Anyway, no need to thank me. Just go find Shelda, all right? Thanks, man. Cool. Sizzling sands. An Eggler shell all the way over there. Shelda, perplexing prophet. I'm talking about <sighs> Buffalo cost. Medicine lead dive bombs. Thank you. Moth the Supreme. Looks like it could use a good slicing. When the moon hits your eyes like a big pizza pie, that's a trip to the hospital. Breakfasty bits. Oh. A cheeser. Zips around the dunes at extreme speed. Too bad the trip shot doesn't stick to sand. A praying picantus. Large, aggressive, and destructive. Best to be avoided. A loaded spud. It smashes anything that makes it angry, which is everything. What's it loaded with? Rage, bro. And sour cream. This ancient stone coffin is stuck shut. Perhaps it can be cut open. Hmm. Pizza thing. No. Cheese! Cheese makes everything better, even bug snacks. Excuse me? A score pepper. Lurks invisibly on desert rocks and roasts anything that gets too close. Not sure how to get up there. Actually, can I...? Yeah, cool. Chirito. As long as it's under the sand, it can't be caught, but it can't dig through solid rock. Same thing as the other guy. Mm, this one has many questions. So it is my wisdom shall be shared. Am I? One who is called Shelda exists beyond the cell. Answers have no shape. Truth comes in many flavors. Ah, the questions must cease. 
Wisdom can be gained only through experience. One who is you, tainting others with the toxin that is bug snacks, have strayed from the mother's path. So it is. You must atone. In seeking inner peace, Shelda has renounced material temptations. So it is that Shelda is really grumping hungry. Seek the yellow sauce within the great maw of stone. On this, I shall be sustained. She wants cheese. Ooh. Ooh, yum is one, and one is craving reapers. Consider the sandscape a reflection of the mind. One unable to escape its dry embrace. First, an act of rebirth, to break out of my current shelter. So too must you break shells, crack open the egglers, Give them new life. I've done it to one of them. <laughs> Can I make it? Yeah! Alright. Barely. Sodi. Cool. Bunabom. I got a flap jackarack. Fuck. burst from my shell and so oozes forth my spiritual yoke. Yet obstacles devour that yoke, the sinister peccantis of temptation. To truly destroy these obstacles, one must break them down into their elements. Break two precantis. This thing? Because it's 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 because it's
How do I unlight the fire? Not what they wanted, but I'm still good with that. I need you to follow me. I don't think you will follow me. There we go. Okay. Oh, it's a locust. I get it now. You bitch! Don't know how to get this scorpion pepper thing. Don't know how to get him. Oh. I need to head back this way. And then head back in, respawn all the little critters. I think that'll respawn them at least. Respawn him at least. Pick up this, 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 pick up this
And he shall explode. Got it. Alright. I need to break it again. Not back. Really cool. Oh, 
Ah. Uh. Um. Snack of temptation removed. Yet, one still lost in darkness, seeking the light. For only in the light of Mother Nature can the toxin be purged. Seek a Rasby deep below. A hidden ruin, a maze of trials. Guide this Rasby to one's side. A black Rasby from under the ruins to Shelda. Hey. Didn't move out of the way fast enough. There we go. Interesting. Okay. A unique Rasby, it will need help escaping the underground. For a sin against all nature, this one is arguably a little bit cute.
There we go. Oh, what once was lost now is found. The path to light determined. The time has come. Egress from the sandscape. So it is that Shelder survives. It was a metaphor. Now to Snacksburg goes me to bring such clarity to my followers. All right. My grumping butt is so sore. So many of them. Oh, what? Why is there a sandstorm? A barbecue bunger? Far more aggressive than its forest cousin. There we go. Barbecue bunger. I got it. A green peel bug. You're left here. Oh, I didn't. S simmering sands. No, wait, that's the wrong area. I need scorching gorge. There we go. I haven't gotten this guy. And apparently there's a, a candy thing. How do I get these guys? Like there's water like everywhere. But I can't like just straight up launch water. Let's go. 
Fucker! Alright. <laughs> the other one a sherby that's at the boiling place Cromdo does crime Alchemist, they who gladly hasten our doom. Here's to a hard day's work. When one asks questions, one may receive answers. All right. <laughs> one is called Shelda. A one who is me acts as a vessel for the will of Mother Nature. So it is. One maintains balance and purity. <gasps> a calling felt in the soul. Distant voices saying they need you. Free tickets won in a raffle. is a metaphor uh, but yes the toxin the mother of whores in and all their alluring forms one feels them crawling around us beneath us inside us mother nature the mother she the purest light from whom all life one cast out they, the scion of toxins. Yet, lessons unlearned, the cravings only grew. So it was one journeyed far to isolate oneself and live by an example. So it was, one got very, very lost. <laughs> She, the Huntress, is gone from us, strayed from the Mother's path, chasing the healer's tainted love. Thrice were they warned, so this once you shall be warned. A doom befalls those who consume the toxin. A doom of toxin unending. The ground shakes, the sky splits! Look not upon it, move not an inch, or be swallowed by the Queen of Venoms! Or oh, so I heard. <laughs> Everyone is a fraud in a sense. Ever are more questions asked, seldom are more answers given. One must live content with the absence of knowing. Meditate on this. A vessel of the unknown. May answers be found 
in its mystery. Shilda has a locked box. She'll need a key to open it. I have that key. 100% sure. Yup. Video diary number five. Alrighty. Today is the day I, Elizabeth Megafig, solve the greatest mystery of this island. I found a door near the frosted peak. What could be behind it? I wonder. <sighs> Wait for me, Liz! Bill? What are you doing out here? Following you. Do you want to come with me? I thought it might be fun to hunt bug snacks together. I... if that's all right with you. That'd be amazing. But maybe not today. This peak isn't for beginners. I've been practicing. I got Cello to show me the ropes, bro. Uh. <laughs> Very impressive. I didn't know you were working out. I guess it's hard to see my muscles under the bug snacks. You really are changing, Bill. I'm sorry I was being so selfish. It's okay. I don't want apologies, worrying, any of it. I just want us to be together. And to see how much you're exaggerating about your dangerous work. <laughs> oh, really? Think it'll be a walk in the park, huh? That's right. And I bet I can even catch more book snacks than you. Woohoo! You're on! Documentarian. All right. Seems I have all the tapes since I got a trophy along with it. What am I donating? Hang on. More to love. Hey there, bud. And watch me work. Dealer no oh, man, I am stuffed thanks to my friend here. I couldn't eat another snack. Guess I'll just throw away this delicious buffalo kist. Did you say buffalo kist? Oh, hold on now, Cromdo. I'd be happy to take it. Take it? I don't do charity, Triff. Uh, what do you want for it? Well, I happen to be in a market for a treasure map. Never mind. See ya. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> What's the deal here? I'm not letting a crook like you get a hold of that map. You'll just swipe the bug snacks and sell them off. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I, 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 Amazing work, Cromdo. Yeah. Business as usual. I try to play nice and fair, I get a door slammed in my face. Yeah, well, if Triffity thinks I'm a crook, I'll show her a crook. We're gonna steal that map. Meet me outside her hut. Midnight. No cops. All right, pal, here's the plan. I'll keep watching, turn away any looky-loos, while you sneak upstairs all quiet-like and nab that map. Got it? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 no, 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 yeah, yeah, no, I'd, I'd do it myself. Believe me, it's just that I got this, uh, this condition where I'm deathly allergic to, uh, to jail time. Yeah, don't swear to pal, you'll do great. Uh, 
was that? Cactus? Oh, good. Love you, Cactus. Freaking pair. Oh, 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 nice job! Easy as pie. Look, I'm not a bad guy. <laughs> when I got my bug stacks, I'll pay Triffany back way more than this is worth. Anyway, we're gonna have to wait a while for the heat to die down. Until then, zip 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 zip! Lip zipped, got it? I don't want to feed Gramble. Oh, That's just fucked up. Huh? Oh, just a bad dream. Incredibly difficult to type with paws. Fluti must be very talented. I didn't have cheese. Hang on. I saw this was a trophy a long time ago, and I just remembered it. Hang on. Wait. Okay, maybe it'll work on a bug snack. I'm hoping it will because I'm out of people. <laughs> I don't think that counted. Damn it. Need to do something. Hope I didn't prevent myself from getting a trophy. I'm sure one of them will leave this place again. In fact, there's actually a person that I can still get. Because I'm at 11 of 12, right? Yeah. So there's someone on the mountain peak. Sprout! Huh? Oh, just a bad dream. Oh. Like, what the hell is that noise? <laughs> Alright. Hang on. These these guys are talking about something. Where's the stump, Snorpy? I removed it with my digging device. It took five minutes. Bro! Thanks. Anytime, Chandlo. After what they put Eggabel through? No way, bro! Go! Get up! Greetings! Ah, chum! Good to see you on this ordinary tyranny-free day! Let us talk pleasantly of the weathers! I've discovered something terrible. My seismic readings show that activity in the mountain is growing stronger and more frequent over time. We must find the source of the quakes before the situation grows out of control. There is an unusually large bug snack on the mountain that I'm certain is involved. The formidable Scoopy Banoopy. <coughs> Disassemble it and dispose of the components in my mouth, and once more we will have thwarted the Grumpanati. <laughs> All right. Absolutely not. Whatever scheme my sibling put you up to, it certainly won't end well. You 
who continues to spread the toxin's dark influence are lost. But one will guide you to the true path. Behold, the box of purity. Those box nuts placed inside shall be purged by the light of Mother Nature. Make an offering to the box. Show that you are willing to walk this path. A wise choice was made. So it is, the light that shines within darkness shines brightest over all. Meditate on this and return one day hence. Okay. The box of purity. A part of her body is going to be. <laughs> hey. Hi. Why? Is Floofty looking for someone to snack on? LOL, JK, but seriously, no. Um, I don't think I'd be any help in that department. Floofy said I was about as useful as a beaker without a bottom. Hey, darling, they once called me a vociferous profligate. I'm terribly insulted, though I have no idea what that even means. One last chance, darling. There's a massive bug snack out in the ocean. I've seen it riding the waves in the morning light. To be honest, I'm not even sure if it's real. But I must go after it. Please help me. I can't catch it alone. Fabulous. Let's jam. All right. Hey, yeah, there we go. Say cheese. Perfect. My critic's all right, you know. I can't make the magic happen again. I've tried skydiving, crystal gorging, reverse exorcisms, everything. Mug snacks are the only thing that have ever gotten me close to that state again. To that raw nirvana where the universe writes through me. I just haven't found it yet. But I will. I must. It's that or I'm finished. <sighs> Another empty venue. But if you're out there, you won't be able to resist my siren song. <laughs> Darling. Come to me, come to me, my muse on the sea. My mouth is your destination, and we go. Here's your destiny. I see your destiny. Yeah, yeah, get in my belly. Oh, yeah. Mega, mega, mega Marky. There you are, you delectable dragon. Come on, let's make some music. A mega maki, the head of the beast. It can't be caught until it's run out of followers. Mini maki, they follow behind the head in perfect formation 
and panic without its leadership. Fuck! Catch the Mega Maki. Damn, it broke it. He flying. one ah oh, damn it I really did that I'm upset with myself. Mega. 
Got it. Talk about bombing on stage. Still, not my most explosive performance. Come, darling. Let's get this show on the road. Darling, they once called me a... Vapid waste of a song. To think that will be my legacy. Oh, why can't I make it happen one more time? Why can't the universe give me one more hit? Oh, hey, thanks for that. <laughs> Burn it on. Okay. I think I'm going to end because I think this might be my longest stream. Yeah, this is my longest stream so far. About three hours and 41 minutes. Grumpy snack puff. Did you do it? Did you write your magnum opus? <sighs> Sorry, dear. It's never going to happen. Don't be so down, Wiggle. Maybe you're overthinking it. Why don't you just write from the heart? From the heart? Graham, you sweet summer child. That's what I did before I was a star. I'll never make platinum that way. Why does that matter? You're already rich and famous. Because I need an audience. And I've seen time and time again that when I write for myself, nobody else wants to hear it. Well, I want to hear it. That's a nice sentiment, darling. going on over here? Floofy. Snoppington. So, you've slithered back into town. Up to another grumpinati scheme. I'm not participating in your delusions, brother. You waste your talented mind playing spy games when you could be assisting my research. I'm never assisting you again. Not until you find your moral compass and stop working for the man. Oh, please. Don't try to dress up your cowardice. I'm no coward, I... You still haven't told the green meathead how you feel. But whether that's different, don't try to confuse the issue. 
I thought so. Leave me to my business, and I'll leave you to yours. All right. We've made a lot of progress, I think. Oh, I now have a ton of side quests that I have to do. But yeah. I like that they all have a sketch. Next time, we'll do all the side quests that I can do at the moment. Uh, and then, Soda wants to talk to you about something. She's taking from that box. I guarantee it. Whoa, yep. Soda's back. Wiggle and Bramble are going to be so stoked. Oh, yes, one has returned from a great spiritual soldier. So it is. One would really like to lie down. Sounds intense. I bet you're overflowing with wisdom now. Go ahead and lay it on me, shell dog. Ah, oh, yes, uh, wisdom. Um, the strength you seek cannot be found within toxins. For the truest strength is the will to resist. Oh, I get it. I gotta check my snacks. If they look toxic, I won't eat them. No, one is not. You... Oh, clearly you need more guidance. Well, yeah, I do. I'll bring the others, too. Oh, one is sure it will be enlightening. We have to talk. <laughs> All right, no, uh, I'm going to get too invested in it again. All right, I'm restart from save. Oh, God, no. Uh, I'm going to, like, I don't know, uh, go to a bed or something. Yeah, sleep until noon. That should count as a save, I think. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you all for watching, especially if you got the smart and stick around. There's a lot more to come.